Yes, we can have the first question, sister. A name and profession. Yes, sister. Good morning. Thank you for this opportunity. My name is Damanita. I'm 35 years old. I came from the non-Muslim family. I'm a Christian. Uh, for the first, uh, I started to learn Islam because I saw you in the YouTube and I know Islam is very peaceful. For come here, uh, I didn't get the pass from come inside here, but thank you for God. Someone helped me so I can come here and I can uh, give you a question. Maybe I'm not ready for become a Muslim. I still struggle and I still have a confuse. Mm. I still scared, so I want to ask you, how if I become a Muslim, then if I uh, hide from my family, my friends, or my community, if that allow? Sister asked a very important question. And before she asked the question, she said that she has to struggle. She had to struggle to get inside to hear the message of peace. I would like to mention to the organizers of the future lectures that please see to it that you mention. I know that you all are doing registration and I have received so many messages from hundreds of people that we don't have chance to get into. At least make it clear in your advertisement that non-Muslim need not register. Thank you very much. Please, if we don't allow the non-Muslims to enter, we'll be doing injustice. Allah will hold us responsible on the day of judgment. Even if all the Muslims have to stay out, no problem. As I always say that non-Muslims are our guest of honors. So I request the organizers for the future lectures of mine in Indonesia, make it very evident that for non-Muslims, no registration required for the Muslims also if you don't register yet you can hear from outside I know that the response is well being alhamdulillah and the sister asked the question that she has seen me on the YouTube and she thinks that Islam is a peaceful religion she is not very much prepared yet about accepting Islam her main reason is that what if she accepts Islam and she does not reveal to her family? Is it permitted? Sister, for a person to accept Islam, it is between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or between her and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The deen, the religion of Islam is between Allah and that servant, that man or woman. The question is that if a person after accepting Islam, if he or she proclaims, it becomes easier to follow. But proclaiming is not a fard, it's not compulsory. If the person feels that if I proclaim that I am a Muslim, my life will be in danger. Maybe my family members and relatives, you know, will hound me. And if she feels she cannot take that pressure, you're permitted to keep it within yourself permitted as long as you practice the basic pillars of Islam you may do it hidingly you may not be able to practice everything at least the basic pillars you follow and slowly one by one as time goes on it can happen but I always say make it a point that as soon as possible you have to proclaim to your relatives to your mother to your father, to your brothers. Why? Because now if a non-Muslim who agrees with Islam and accepts Islam, finds peace, it will be selfish that you keep the peace only to yourself. It is your duty, you have to share the peace with your father, with your mother, 
with your brother, with your sister, with your friends. So, as soon as the time is right, it may be after a few days, it may be after a few weeks, it may be after a few months, it may be after a few years. As soon as possible, tell them and give them the message of Islam. Because you will be the agent for peace to your parents. Otherwise, the parents will tell you on the day of judgment, my daughter got peace, but she was selfish. She did not tell me. What reply will you give? So if you feel there is a danger, you can hide it for a limited time, no problem. Sister, do you believe that there is one God? I believe. You believe? Do you believe Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is he a messenger of God or is he God? Is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, do you believe he is God or do you believe he is a messenger of God? Can you, play, can you on the microphone of the sister please? The person on the audio, please keep my microphone on till the end of the program. Don't, don't switch it off. And the questioner that's asking the question, only on that microphone. Can you on the microphone? Yes, sister. Do you believe Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God? Or do you believe he is the messenger of God? No, I believe in messenger of God. Mashallah, you believe he is the messenger of God. <laughs> sister, do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, peace be upon him? Do you believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God? So sorry, but not yet. I still learn about Prophet Muhammad and I still confused. Have you seen any of my lectures talking about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? Yes. He is prophesied not only in, in the scriptures, he is prophesied in the scripture of all the major world religions. He is even prophesied in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. He is even prophesied in the New Testament of the Bible. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. In the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 26. In the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse 12 to 14. It is mentioned that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that he shall speak. He shall glorify me. Now here, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is telling to his people, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. You cannot understand them now. He, when the spirit of truth shall come, talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he shall he speak, he shall glorify me. And we know that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, got the revelation from Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever was revealed to him, he spoke verbatim and declared to the world. So in the Bible, there are many prophecies of the last and final messenger to come, including my Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. So my question to you, sister, is who is this Prophet that is spoken about by Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. Prophet Jesus is talking about another messenger to come. Correct. So who is he telling you about? Telling the Christian that another messenger is going to come. I have many things to tell you. But you cannot understand it now. When, when the Injil was revealed, he, when Prophet Muhammad will come, peace be upon him, he will guide you unto all truth. So I am asking you that Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, who is he talking about this last and final messenger to come? Himself. Sorry? Uh, no, Jesus Christ is telling Jesus that Christ. another messenger will come. Yes. And he will guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that he hears shall he speak. And when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, got the revelation, he repeated verbatim the Quran. 
That means Jesus is saying, another messenger will come. He's telling to the Christians, you have to believe in him. You have to follow him. So are you following this messenger? Are you believing in this messenger? You really make me confused now. <laughs> yes. When you are going from falsehood to truth, you get confused. Right. You get confused. What is this? When you come to know, what is this? Because if the world is telling, this is a religion of terrorism, and you come to know, as you rightly said, this is a religion of peace, you get confused. But this confusion will settle down and will open the truth for you. So I am asking you, this prophecy about the last and final messenger mentioned in the Bible, in the New Testament, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, who is it talking about? It is talking about a messenger to come yes. who will guide you to all truth. So which messenger is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, talking about that will come in the future and guide you to all truth? And he will glorify Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. Who is he talking about? He's talking about himself. Himself? Yes. How? He's saying, I have many things to say unto you, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, saying. But you cannot understand it now. When he, the spirit of truth, will come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He. Jesus will say, I. Why will he say he? He means somebody else, correct? He means another man. Who is he talking about? I understand. He is talking about a person who will get the revelation from God. And he will not speak of himself. All that he hears shall he speak. And we know from history that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he got the revelation from Almighty God. And whatever was revealed to him, he repeated verbatim. And Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. This prophecy says, he will glorify me. So in this Quran, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is mentioned by name 25 times. He is glorified. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is talking about Prophet Muhammad and the glorious Quran. For becoming a Muslim, you require to have two things. One is agree there is one God, which you have already done. Second is to believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger which you did that already. Would you like to proclaim it here? Would you like to say it in Arabic? I'm not ready now. Okay, fine. No problem, sister. But yet I congratulate you. According to me, you're already a Muslim. But as soon as possible, as I told you, proclaiming is better so that you can practice it. If you want to hide it from your relatives, do it. But you are responsible for giving Hidayah to your family members. As soon as possible, whenever the time is right, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may give you hidayah, may give you knowledge, may give you courage to gain more knowledge and practice the religion of Islam. Thank you, sister. Thank you very much.